Okay, so you're going to think that maybe this is a little gross, but I think it's important for people to see how easy the cleanup after juicing is. Um, I'm going to use an already, I reuse my little baggies because a lot of times I pull them out of the box, but I don't use them. So see, this even looks clean. But anyway, I give the pulp of my juicing to the animals. Okay, and maybe you could do this too. Why clutter a garbage truck with something that's going to stink, it's all rotten, when you could actually um, make a difference? Look at that. Sometimes I get chunks. Uh, this is this this is the third machine that I've bought of the same kind. It's the first one that doesn't really do a good job always. Um, so I just want to share with you how easy it really is to clean this. It looks like a mess. It really does. But don't be discouraged about doing this because, look, it takes me two minutes. It takes me two minutes to do this. Watch. Okay. And I take this out to the animals. And, yeah, I know, I used to hate the groundhogs, believe me. But no animals wanted to eat the, <laughs> my pulp. And I was discouraged that, you know, even though it could go back to the ground, I was discouraged. So one day, it started, some something started eating it. And it was baby groundhog. Then it came back this year again. And I've been doing this for years, but it's the first time I got, first of all, the idea to, to feed this to, to an animal, to the animals, if they would have it. Because I think it's strange because it's mixed, right? <laughs> they know what fruits and vegetables are, I'm pretty sure, right? But, um, see, I scrape everything. See, look at that. All the pulp. And I give it to the animals. Why not? Why put it in the garbage? Why let the squirrels try to break into your garbage can right now so now that's ready to be taken out and look just see how quickly i wash this one two three seriously and actually i don't it doesn't take a lot of water it doesn't take a lot of water i actually feel water is a commodity and we're getting to the time where it may become more and more of a commodity so i reuse my water okay so I scrub this within the water so I don't have to be, you know, losing a lot of water while I'm doing this. What well, a lot of people, they just let the water run. And now I'm paying for my water and it just went up $15 pretty much on the average per person. And it went up before that just about a similar amount two years ago and everybody was arguing. So when they were going up, I posted it on the local Facebook page. Everybody ignored it. I gave them a, a form. How to protest, how to stop it in court, but they wouldn't do it, right? So then when it went up the other day, it's like, look at this, look at the letter I got. Well, pay attention, right? I can't be the only one to fight for um, the community. So see, I'm washing it with dirty water. <laughs> washing it with dirty water, you know? What can I say? Let me put drainage thing here and watch. It's gonna be washed in two seconds. Two seconds. Two seconds. Look. And you gotta use this brush because the last one I did, the brush, uh, it was okay, but it was a dust machine. I regret throwing it out because, well, actually, the motor did die on me. So, see, I reused the water. Two, one, two, three. Good to go. See? Because it gets really icky. Okay, easy, easy, easy peasy, easy peasy, one, two, three, See, it's not such a mess, it's not the mess you think it is, be encouraged to do it yourself, look, it's good to start treating water like a commodity because it just maybe come with the signs of times, and you know, this little brush comes in handy, and you got to wash this real fast because what happens is, it starts to get the flavor of it, and then you can, you could only use you could only use that straw for that purpose. And you really do have to scrub, scrubby dub dub, because it does stain my glasses. The juicing it do, does stain my glasses. Okay, so well, I guess you can't see to that part. So sorry, you can't see anything. But you know, I use a straw because I sip it up. You gotta slurp it, right? I slurp it. See how quickly that is? Now, people don't want to juice because it's a lot of work. And you know what? 
it's not as much work as you think it is. It really isn't. So this is why I'm sharing this with you. Because the dishes part of it should not deter you uh, from juicing at all. Two seconds. Two seconds of a thing. See? Now you just let it sit and dry in the rack. And, and that's it. End of story. You put it away. So now I'm going to take this and feed my outdoorsy animals who appreciate my pulp. Very nutritious. Extre Look at this. There were chunks in here that this machine uh, didn't take. Now, don't fault the machine. It's it, it's this actual one because I've already purchased three of them. This is the only one. Uh, actually, I have another one. I'm going to take the other one out in the box. Uh, it, the first one did a great job. So sometimes some things are a little faulty. And it is only costing $19. I forget the brand. It doesn't even show the brand. It's like a no-namer. Okay, thank you for watching and have a great day.